What is the primary goal of implementing a HACCP system? A. To increase food production. B. To identify and control food safety hazards. C. To enhance the taste of food. D. To improve marketing strategies. Answer. B. To identify and control food safety hazards. Which of the following is the first step in developing a HACCP plan? A. Establish corrective actions. B. Identify critical control points, CCPs. C. Conduct a hazard analysis. D. Establish monitoring procedures. Answer. C. Conduct a hazard analysis. Which of the following is not a type of hazard in HACCP? A. Chemical. B. Biological. C. Financial. D. Physical. Answer. C. Financial. In the HACCP system, what does the term CCP stand for? A. Critical cooking point. B. Critical control point. C. Corrective cleaning point. D. Central control point. Answer. B. Critical control point. What is the main purpose of a critical control point, CCP? A. To monitor employee performance. B. To eliminate or reduce hazards to a safe level. C. To improve food quality. D. To assess the profitability of food production. Answer. B. To eliminate or reduce hazards to a safe level. Which of the following best describes a biological hazard? A. Metal fragments in food. B. Cleaning chemicals. C. Residual pesticides. D. Bacteria like Salmonella or E. coli. Answer. D. Bacteria like Salmonella or E. coli. A physical hazard in food safety includes A. Excessive salt. B. Pathogenic bacteria. C. Glass or metal fragments. D. Allergens. Answer. C. Glass or metal fragments. Which of the following is an example of a chemical hazard? A. Bones in fish. B. Pesticide residues. C. Foreign objects like plastic. D. Insects. Answer. B. Pesticide residues. Which of the following is an example of a corrective action? A. Discarding food that did not reach the required cooking temperature. B. Continuing operations without any change. C. Notifying the customer of a problem after the product is sold. D. Lowering the storage temperature. Answer. A. Discarding food that did not reach the required cooking temperature. Which principle of HACCP focuses on keeping detailed records of each step? A. Principle 7. Establish record-keeping and documentation procedures. B. Principle 3. Establish critical limits. C. Principle 5. Establish corrective actions. D. Principle 2. Identify critical control points. Answer. A. Principle 7. Establish record-keeping and documentation procedures. What is the purpose of establishing critical limits? A. To ensure that corrective actions are followed. B. To set measurable standards for controlling hazards at each CCP. C. To monitor food production output. D. To evaluate employee performance. Answer. B. To set measurable standards for controlling hazards at each CCP. A food safety hazard is best described as. A. A condition that can cause food to become contaminated. B. A problem with the appearance of food. C. A marketing issue. D. An equipment malfunction. Answer. A. A condition that can cause food to become contaminated. Which document is essential for verifying that a HACCP system is effective? A. Financial records. B. CCP monitoring logs. C. Employee timesheets. D. Sales reports. Answer. B. CCP monitoring logs. Which of the following is an example of a prerequisite program? A. Implementing CCPs. B. 
b. Establishing corrective actions. c. Employee hygiene training. d. Verifying the HACCP plan. Answer, C, Employee Hygiene Training. When should HACCP documentation be reviewed? A, Monthly. B, When a food safety incident occurs. C, Annually or when there is a change in the process. D, Only when required by an inspector. Answer, C, Annually or when there is a change in the process. The HACCP principle conduct hazard analysis involves a. Identifying potential hazards that could affect food safety. B. Monitoring CCPs. C. Verifying the accuracy of records. D. Developing corrective actions. Answer A. Identifying potential hazards that could affect food safety. Which of the following is a CCP in the cooking process? A. Washing vegetables. B. Cooking chicken to a minimum internal temperature. C. Receiving raw materials. D. Packaging finished products. Answer. B. Cooking chicken to a minimum internal temperature. Verification in HACCP refers to A. Ensuring CCPs are monitored properly. B. Cleaning the production equipment. C. Correcting production errors. D. Checking if the HACCP system is working as intended. Answer, D, checking if the HACCP system is working as intended. What should be done if a CCP fails to meet the critical limit? A, continue production as normal. B, discard the affected product and take corrective action. C, recalculate the CCP. D, report to the Food Safety Authority immediately. Answer, B, discard the affected product and take corrective action. Which of the following is a potential allergen? A. Water. B. Shellfish. C. Plastic fragments. D. Salt. Answer. B. Shellfish. Which of the following is not part of a HACCP plan? A. Identifying hazards. B. Establishing corrective actions. C. Verifying CCPs. D. Implementing quality control procedures. Answer. D. Implementing quality control procedures. The HACCP principle that involves establishing procedures to ensure the system is working correctly is A. Conduct hazard analysis. B. Establish corrective actions. C. Establish verification procedures. D. Establish record keeping procedures. Answer, C. Establish verification procedures. Which of the following is an example of a physical hazard? A. Cleaning chemicals. B. Metal shavings in food. C. Undercooked meat. D. High levels of salt. Answer, B. Metal shavings in food. Who is responsible for the implementation and maintenance of the HACCP plan? A. The food safety team. B. The customers. C. The suppliers. D. The cleaning staff. Answer. A. The food safety team. What is the most important reason for keeping HACCP records? A. To calculate the cost of production. B. To provide evidence that the system is being followed correctly. C. To improve the taste of food products. D. To verify the performance of employees. Answer. B. To provide evidence that the system is being followed correctly. Which of the following is an example of a biological hazard? A. A piece of plastic in the food. B. A chemical spill. C. Listeria bacteria. D. A sharp metal fragment. Answer. C. Listeria bacteria. What should you do if a hazard analysis reveals a significant risk? A. Implement corrective actions immediately. B. Monitor the risk without taking action. C. Report it to the authorities. D. Change the entire production process. Answer. A. Implement corrective actions immediately.
Which principle involves identifying potential hazards in food production? A. Establishing corrective actions. B. Conducting a hazard analysis. C. Establishing critical limits. D. Monitoring CCPs. Answer. B. Conducting a hazard analysis. What is the purpose of establishing monitoring procedures at CCPs? A. To adjust food prices. B. To ensure that critical limits are consistently met. C. To check employee productivity. D. To track inventory. Answer. B. To ensure that critical limits are consistently met. A prerequisite program in a HACCP plan includes A. Identifying CCPs. B. Establishing corrective actions. C. Ensuring equipment is cleaned and sanitized properly. D. Verifying the system regularly. Answer. C. Ensuring equipment is cleaned and sanitized properly.